Yeah, yeah, you, you can't make it up. And again, the sheriff's deputies uh, and UTA and, uh, officials investigating a peach orchard right across the road from us and down the hill a little bit. That orchard is just east of Highway 89. And it appears as though they're not giving all uh, the information away at this point, but it appears as though they believe that's where the shooter was crouched early this morning, firing multiple rounds on the Highway 89, hitting not one but two vehicles in the process. It was about 5.15 this morning. That's when folks in the area heard those gunshots and began flooding the Davis County dispatch with 911 calls. Deputies responded, and a short time later, they learned that indeed a big rig hauling concrete dust and a UTA bus carrying passengers were both hit by gunfire. Now the search is on for the shooter. The deputies responded. We were unable to find any person responsible at this time, but we did confirm that there were two vehicles that were passing on Highway 89 that did receive bullet holes. And I heard uh, some distinct pops, and I thought, this is strange. It sounds more like a gun than anything I would have guessed. Now, there were nine people on board that UTA bus, and uh, we understand uh, one of the investigators telling me just a few moments ago, they did indeed know that their bus had been hit by a bullet. Uh, no one was injured, though. That's the, the biggest and best takeaway from all of this. No one on that bus, uh, the driver of that big rig, no injuries reported. Now the search is on for that shooting suspect. They're not quite sure uh, what kind of firearm was used, handgun or a long gun. Uh, but again, this happening about 515, 520 this morning, um, just a little bit east of Highway 89 in a, what appears to be a fruit orchard is where, again, police believe the shooter may have been crouched firing off those rounds. They say if anyone saw anything out of the ordinary, knows anything at all about this, you're asked to call the Davis County Sheriff's Office, their dispatch, and uh, really, you know, give them any help you can because this is an extremely dangerous situation. And again, they're hoping to find this person, talk to him, and just try to ascertain from them what the heck was going on in their mind firing rounds onto a busy highway. We'll continue to file this one for you and bring you the very latest as we get it. For now, we're live in Fruit Heights. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.